Hello, this is Denise with Minty Green Mama, and I am doing a video um, this evening. The kids are in bed, and I just got a package in the mail. I'm so excited. I think this is, um, well, I know this is my, my Dame Darcy Alice Tarot that I have been waiting for. I'm so happy. I'm beyond happy. And let me just preface this by saying that I have the um, Dame Darcy, my my cat's making noise, um, mermaid tarot, and I hope I'm saying that right, Dame Darcy, <laughs> but I love, love, love this deck. I put off getting it for so long because I didn't think I connected with the, um, with the images, um, but I finally purchased it, um, mostly because I love, like, mermaid energy, and I, this is, like, one of my soul decks right here. This is, like, I mean, total, total, total love, like love this deck. And so I am so excited to open this box. I'm so excited and it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. It's got my, oh my gosh, look at this. It's got like some little papers in here. Ah, uh, look at that. I think this is like, um, sticker sticker paper uh, look how cute I'm so excited oh here's a mermaid one. Oh, and here's a little Alice picture oh my gosh look at that <gasps> very merry unbirthday craft your own Queen Alice tarot meanings booklet with this template. How oh, interesting. Oh, how cool. It looks like it, you can print, print the template out. Very cool. And make like your own little booklet with a little printout on the website. All right. So as great as that is, this is where, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So I got Another, another mermaid tarot. Oh my god. Oh. oh, look at that. Like a little jewel and a flower. Oh my gosh, and one flew out onto my computer. This is like, oh my god, this is unbelievable. On oh, the little flowers. Oh my god. In the box. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh -huh. oh is that crazy or what? Like, I'm about to lose my mind. Dave Darcy, Queen Alice Tarot. And the back says, Long has paled that sunny sky. Echoes fade and memories die. Autumn frosts have slain July. Still she haunts me phantom-wise. Alice moving under skies never seen by waking eyes. By Lewis Carroll. Oh my gosh. So I got, um, I got an email, um, a while, not that long ago saying that the deck was ready, but one of the cards, I believe it's a four of wands, um, had to be reprinted from the printers and you had the option of just waiting until the entire deck was ready, um, and getting it or going ahead and getting the deck and just having the card sent to you, um, that was missing when it arrived and I opted to just go ahead and get the deck because I am so over the moon so excited about this deck like I just wanted to hold it in my hands so I do not mind I will wait and get the card when it comes in oh my gosh so this is a lot different so like okay so the box for this is very similar um the like little magnetic closure which I love that but the the mermaid cards are like this really um like matte cardstock, which I love. Now these are glossy. Oh, and they have a silver gilding. Look at that. DameDarcy.com. Darcy Dame and then it's got just the backings. And they're kind of like this, this like glossy. Um, let me see if I can catch the light. Yeah, there we go. This glossy kind of, but the cardstock is still really good. So I like that. And then that's the back of them. So we're gonna see. I guess I think that is reversible. 
Is it? No, it's not quite reversible. But, well, but I'd have to think about it for so long that it might as well be. It just looks like the little um, piece of her crown on that side is a little bit different than that side. But it's basically the same. So it's base, I think it's basically reversible. So, and they're not in order, which I believe when I got my mermaid tarot, they were not in order either. So I'm just going to kind of show them as they, as they come. They're not sticking together at all, which is amazing. Oh, look at this, and a little photo card. It's got Dame Darcy, the backing on it too. How nice. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of show them as they come. I am so excited because, like I said, when I got the the my first tarot deck by Dame Darcy the Mermaid Tarot, I did not feel like I was going to connect with her artwork. Like, it's not a style that I normally like, but after getting it and using it, I've just really connected with the artwork. I am just really, really impressed with it. Um, so there's a high priestess. Isn't that amazing? Oh, and the magician. So I am just so excited. I mean, I love Alice in Wonderland. I'm interested to see, um, like, who gets to be on which cards here in this deck. Like, for instance, there's the Mad Hatter on the King of Cups. And then the Cheshire Cat was a magician, which I think is an interesting choice. Look at this, the Two of Wands, and we have the, the Red Queen and the White Queen. Now, it's been a really long time since I've read um, The Adventures of Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll and Through the Looking Glass. And so I actually just recently um, got a, a copy because it had, I read it a long time ago and it had um, from different moves, I had seemed to not have it in my library anymore. So I just recently went and got a new copy of it and I'm looking forward to reading it again so that I can even appreciate the characters in, in this tarot deck even more. Oh, this is interesting, Two of Cups. Like some of these characters, I'm not gonna really recognize. I think until I go back through and read the, read the book. Oh, well, there obviously, three of swords. This is the queen, queen of hearts. Hmm, I like that. Oh, I think I saw this image in the um when I was buying the deck. I love this. And it says, drink me. It's the page of cups. I thought that was just so clever. I love that. And the hermit. Oh, look at this. So we have the, so the caterpillar is the hermit. That's interesting. I like that. Queen of cups. The moon. Nine of Pentacles. Ah, it's Alice in the Rose Garden. Very nice. Ten of Wands. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Ten of Cups. So I'm probably not going to show every single card because I do like to leave a few for, you know, everyone to discover if you happen to be watching this, but I do like to show um, enough to get a feel of the, of the artwork. Look at that, the Eight of Cups. There's just so much to like discover in this deck. Oh, look at that. You got like the little flamingo up here at the top holding, holding like a, a biscuit or a cookie. Very cool. Ace of Pentacles. 
We still have like the hand with, you know, with the smoke, like Barry, you know, Rider Waite Smith, like coming in from the side. And then Alice is looking out the little, um, little doorway, wondering how she's going to, you know, fit out of there. Oh, here's the full card. I was wondering what the full card would be. So it's Alice and it looks like she's got, um, and the white rabbit is down here. So it looks like that maybe that's the rabbit hole, you know, because that's kind of how the whole thing starts. Like, and I like the parallel between Alice, like just jumping into the rabbit hole and like the fool, you know, the classic fool, like standing on the edge of a cliff. And so, you know, you have like that fool, like getting ready to take that like leap. And then Alice just kind of just does this, like she's just like, just starting a new adventure, like an entirely new adventure, an entirely new land. So I think that that's really cool. Oh, the lover's card. The king and the queen of hearts, it looks like. It's an interesting choice. Oh, and the world. It's Alice, and then there's like a unicorn and a lion and another animal and the mad hatter is that the jabberwocky i don't know i have to it just looks like maybe a bird i don't have to let's see ah the seven of pentacles is that the walrus and the carpenter seven of pentacles interesting and then all the little um the oysters have like the are the pentacles so that's an interesting way of looking at it. Interesting. Eight of wands, like the, the wands with roses. So very un easy to understand symbolism, very similar to other eight of wands. Um, so this is an interesting one. I like this one. This has like Humpty Dumpty and he's fallen and he's broken his head. This is a tower card. So you, know, you can see like life as you know it is shattered like in a very realist, you know, like literal way. Let's see. And the Hierophant looks like that is again the um, caterpillar. I might be mistaking some of these characters. Like I said, it's been a while, but I mean the Alice in Wonderland, the story has such a like has such a place in my heart that when, I mean, like, I am just so looking forward to rereading the book and getting back in touch with the characters from the actual, you know, book. Because I, I you know, I am fond also of the Disney movie and um, of some of, like, the spinoff movies that have been um, out recently. Like, I, I love all of those. I just love the idea of, you know, believing six impossible things or whatever it is before breakfast. Like, I love all of that, but but I do I do want to reread the Lewis Carroll book, so, books. The Sun is Alice on a unicorn, so you gotta love that. I'm interested to see what the double card is. Here's the hanged, hanged man. The five of swords. You got all the cards jumping under the playing cards. The seven of wands. And the bird is saying serpent. Totally don't remember that part. Here's the death card. That's an interesting twist on that. And the Nine of Swords is in the sea, and you can see the bottle with the cork floating. And the Wheel of Fortune. And it looks like it's Alice and the Flamingo and like a, a little liony sphinxy looking thing and a unicorn got the caterpillar oh and the sphinx up here at the top it looks like with the sword the ten of pentacles and well, five of pentacles ten of swords oh my goodness another humpty dumpty Pretty, uh, it's pretty gruesome. This cry. 
<laughs> oh my. Well, here's the double. Okay, so we've got Tweedle, it looks like is it Tweedledee and Tweedledum, and then is that the Jabberwocky? I am so, like I said, I'm going to re rework that, but that is an interesting, interesting double card. I like that because you still see like the, the creature, you know, up here, and then you have like still the chains. Yeah, and it says D and dumb. And it looks like, what is it interesting? They're pointing to each other, and they're both looking off, kind of like he's looking like side eyed, you know, side long at, at, at him, and they're kind of pointing at each other. Maybe interesting. It's interesting. It gives me a lot to think about that one. And Temperance, so you have Alice with the two pieces of the mushroom. You know, one, I think, was it one side make her bigger, one side will make her smaller. So that's interesting. Oh, the Seven of Cups. <laughs> and it's all teapots and teacups. Love that. Six of Pinnacles with the Dodo Bird. Four of Pinnacles. And the Chariot. That's interesting. So Alice running, running away. Hmm. Huh. But it looks like she's almost like running with, like she's holding the hand or they've got a hold of her. Like it looks like she's holding on. Like that's interesting. And and I don't really remember the story as well. I really like to because I think that I'd get so much more out of this. Oh yeah, and this one is gorgeous. This is the star. I love that. I just love all the ones that have like the, you know, the rainbow around her. I just, that's so gorgeous, so pretty. King of Pentacles. Justice. Page of Pentacles. It took me a second because it's they share the same letters, so it's a page of pentacles. That's one of the things I love about her cards is because the it's not just like um, you know, a banner at the bottom or the top that has like the name of the card or you know, it's just it's it's placed on the card wherever like it wants to be <laughs> the words. So you know, it could be like on this one, it's like the ace ace of swords and it says ace and swords is there and you can kind of see like some more traditional symbolism there but then like this one is all like on a corner and the next one it's even in different um kind of font like still all handwritten and it's the eight of pentacles and it's all on the bottom so it's just got a more like a real flowing kind of uh intuitive you know just like feel to it like it just it's it's on the card like wherever it would like to be on the card so um eight of pentacles it's interesting. He's like pouring, pouring this out, the ink out, and it's just it's making the pentacle. Hmm. And then the nine of wands, unicorn and lion. Interesting. So yeah, like I'm a, I'm very very happy with these. Very happy. I can't wait to start working with them, and I'm still going to start doing my daily draws with these cards, even though um, I don't have like, I, I think I'm still missing that one card and um, that hasn't come in yet, but that I don't think would really affect, well, it's not gonna stop me from using it. Let's just say that, like, and I can still, and the thing about even if you have like one or even several cards missing out of a deck, you know, you can always decide like, I'm going, I wanna meditate on the energy of like the Ace of, Ace of Cups and then you know, pick a card out of the deck and then meditate on that. So it, you know, you can do so much with a deck that has missing cards. Um, so I cannot wait to like go through and spend a little bit more time with these cards and really like take in the, the symbolism and all the images and then really dig into the, the story so that I can appreciate it more. And I am so excited. Like, you know, it's been a long day. <laughs> And I had to wait for the kids to be in bed to do this video, but I was just so, so excited to get it today, and I hadn't had an opportunity to look at it yet, so 
this is just, I am so thrilled. Like, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm a little surprised that, I was a little surprised that it was glossy as opposed to the other one, but I think that they might, you know, shuffle really, really nicely. In fact, let me, let me just shuffle it really fast. And it does have the gilding, and I know, you know, you're not supposed to, like, bend them too much, but for me, that's just the, the best way for me to really get a good shuffle, even though these already came kind of pre-mixed. But I will put them in order, actually. Um, I always do. <laughs> I like to see them in order. So if I, if I get a deck that's not in order, I do spend some time putting them in order. Oh, my gosh. I feel like the luckiest lady right now. Yeah, so that so let's pick, let's pick one. The six of cups, six of cups. So if I'm remembering correctly, like at the very beginning of the story, she's listening to is it her sister? I want to say I don't know if it's her mother or sister reading her a book, and she's just like bored by it, and so she, you know, sees something that's distracting, like the the rabbit running by. He's got like a pocket watch, and she so she follows, or you know, does she wander off? That. Does she just she wander off to like lay in the flowers first? I really, you know, I'm a little shaky on my on my Alice story, but if I, if if this is what I think it is, this is like the very very beginning of the story, um, before she actually you know falls into the falls into the rabbit hole. Look at that! She's got her little kitty cat, and there's six cups. So I mean, I do like that because it's like the six of cups. You know, to me is all about like childhood and. And, you know, like, um, memories, you know, like, kind of, like, rosy-colored, like, memories of childhood. Um, and so I think that this is, like, innocence and, you know, that kind of thing. Like, and so I think this is really, like, this is her before she she went into the, into Wonderland. So she's, like, this is, you know, she has no concept of that. Like, this is her and her innocence before before the story happens. So if that, if that is indeed what this is picturing then I mean I'm I just think that is so perfect uh, so pretty I mean let me put that even closer I mean that is just so pretty like I love the the artwork like to me it almost has kind of like a vintagey like sort of feel to it like it's just I went from not thinking that I would connect with this style to like really really appreciating it so I am so excited to get the Alice Tarot see once again it is the Dame Darcy Queen Queen Alice Tarot and it is amazing and <laughs> and I am so happy so I hope that um, if you're still watching this thank you so much and I hope that you're having a wonderful week and I will talk to you soon okay, bye